Hello everybody and welcome back. It is officially April 24th. Yes! So we all know what happens on April 24th. It is hashtag 24 forever, our vlog of the month of 2019. So I am so excited. I can't believe that we've already like whipped through this is the fourth month of the year. But anyway, beyond all of that, excited about what we've been able to do. For those of you who have not been a part of this journey, I have decided 2019 is all about building each other up, building myself up, and reading books. My one word for the year is, you should know this, it's focus, focus, F-O-C-U-S, focus. So every single thing that I do has been about focus, but the number one thing when I think about focusing is, yes, learning. And the book that we have done for the month of April, March, April, is Rework. Rework, yes. And I like the fact that I get to kind of talk a little bit about what I've learned from this book. And I mean, I can honestly say that I've never read a book like this where the chapters are about one page and a little bit of change, like one and a half pages, some less than that, but very informative information. And I think that I had a couple of things. The, the book obviously is called Rework and it's really about reworking your mindset. Don't necessarily have to set a plan. Yes, you have to set a plan, but you have to rework your mindset that once you set the plan, you're going to put the plan in action and not just make a plan, sit on it and say, oh, you know what, let somebody else do the plan and or I never do the plan at all. And so it's really about reworking your mindset, which I think for me and for a lot of people, for a lot of us, we sometimes have a vision or a goal or something that we want to do and we just never do it. So my mindset this year, even though I'm focusing, is focusing obviously on the things that I need to get done, but then also being able to try a lot of different things. So if you don't know, this is April 24th. If you don't know, this weekend I will be competing in American Ninja Warrior. This is my first time ever. And did I dream, like grow up dreaming about doing this? No. Definitely not, but I think it's something to do that's exciting right along the path that I love doing adventures, and so here we go. So time to rework your mindset, get focused, and get into it. But you gotta start somewhere. If you don't start somewhere, you'll end up being nowhere, and that's not good. So there's two things, two more things. So that's the first thing, your mindset. You gotta start somewhere and keep moving, get that mindset going. The second thing, I read this, failure is not a prerequisite for success. Now, let me tell you this. They put this this paragraph. I'm going to have to take this paragraph. Thank you, Jason and David, for this amazing book. A Harvard Business School study found already successful entrepreneurs are far more likely to succeed again. The success rate for their future companies is 34%. So we're going to be successful entrepreneurs, right? But entrepreneurs whose companies failed the first time had almost the same follow-on success rate as people starting a company for the first time. Just 23%. So we go from 34% when you look at success, 23% for those that failed. People who have failed before have the same amount of success as people who have not tried at all. Success, ding, 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 is the experience that actually counts. So this is kind of going off a failure is not a rite of passage. You have to be able to succeed. We have to see ourselves succeed in order to succeed, right? Apply it to basketball, apply it to any sport, really. You know, we do a lot of imagery. And I will imagine myself, well, I used to. I don't do this anymore. I used to imagine myself shooting free throws and going through. And I love seeing it in my, my head, being able to go through, get my rhythm, get my routine down. The ball goes through the net. I actually would hear the net the way that it, whoosh, that little sound that it makes when you get a perfect shot well it's the same thing in our business and being an entrepreneur we have to see ourselves succeed through imagery and then also you have to see it happen right so that's the practice part of it so that's my second thing and then the third thing that i would say is the meeting all right productivity interruption there was a great chapter on that or a couple pages on that productivity interruption he talked about meeting we set all these meetings, and I will be the first one to say I'm the queen of meetings. I feel like my every day is meetings, meetings, I'm running here, I'm running there, and Mondays especially are a crazy day because they're all meeting days. But 
the part about it is it's hard to get any work done because you'll start doing something and then you'll go to a meeting then you'll come back and try to finish and then you go to another meeting so we talked about really being able to kind of a lot time throughout your day and narrow it down figure out what it is that you want to do in that time and then you have your meetings outside of that so for me my mornings are filled with, with meeting then from like one to three hopefully i can just sit down and kind of Put my calendar nobody do not disturb put a do not disturb sign on the door so that you can get some work done so productivity no interruption how do you get stuff done you can't get stuff done when you're constantly going in and out so rework this was a great book great book for the month of april if you have not had a chance to go and get it feel free to get it i'm actually on my website going to put all the books that we've read so you can go through the vlog and you can hear me talk about it but we're also going to put a little list up there so that you can go, you can click on and see what the book of the month was. And of course, that will lead us into this month's book. And are you ready? Drum roll, drum roll. Are you ready? This month, we are going to talk about radical inclusion. What the post 9-11 world should have taught us about leadership by Ori Brothman, but Martin Dempsey. Oh, this is going to be the book. So I, I love looking through my bookshelf and there's quite a few books that I have not had an opportunity to read. But I think this is really cool. General Dempsey actually sent it to me. He signed it to me. So you cannot take this book. But leadership is really important. And as we kind of embark on yet another journey and for me looking at my new role, being a leader in a different position but now strictly from the fever side i was able to lead on the court but i think this is going to be a great book when you start thinking about leading off the court not only from the team itself but all the different departments that we have to make the fever organization run so i am super excited about this book general dempsey thank you for sending this to me i can't wait to read it radical inclusion leadership okay i mean can you can you think of anything else that we need to be focusing on right now? In the world that we have right now, we need many positive leaders as we can possibly find. So I'm excited about going on this journey with you guys. Make sure you go pick it up. Radical Inclusion. If you have not read We Work, you got some work to do. So thank you guys for joining. I will see you next month. And you know what? While you're at it, send me some notes. Send me what you thought about this book, Rework. And then if you get this one, I can't wait to hear what you say about this. I think this is going to be a great read. I've read a couple pages already, so kind of had to have a little sneak peek. But I look forward to seeing you guys. Have a great April. Check out American Ninja Warrior this weekend. And I will see you in the month of May. Have a great one. Thank you. Hashtag 24 forever. See you next time.